Shellos, shellos, welcome back, welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Toke, and I'm here to give you guys another little Halloween series feel. Um, I'm doing it today on the fucking Jeepers Creepers 2. Um, yes, I know Jeepers Creepers 1 was absolute banger, but I don't know. I feel like two suited Jeepers Creepers portrayings of his character uh, a little bit more, given off, given that he was, you know, more of a predator, haunting his uh, prey vibes. Um, you know, had them all in one sitting, picking them off one by one type of deal. As to whereas in the first one, you know, he was like on their ass. It was different sceneries and like, I don't know. I feel like this one was, I, I like this one a little, just a little bit more than the first one. First one was still fire. No, I'm not discrediting it. But, uh, so, you know, this one takes place a few days after the, you know, first one. So he's still on his little feast frenzy. Um, he's got about two days left. Um, you know, cause he comes about every 23 years of spring and, uh, gets the feast for 23 days. So, you know, it's day 22, he ends up at this farm, uh, ends up feasting on this, this little boy named Billy, um, and, you know, uh, the father of Billy and the eldest son get to witness, you know, creepers and, 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 and action, you know, and they... They're like just dumbfounded about it and like what the fuck did they just witness? So they had to take a minute to process everything, but after that, they end up going on a hunt, full on hunt for this this creature and putting them to a stop. You know, especially Jack Senior. Um, you know, the father. Because you know you got Jack Senior and Jack Jr. <laughs> um <laughs> uh fucking they end up making a homemade harpoon um out of fucking you know the tools they got in a fucking barn along with Jeepers Creepers goddamn one of Jeepers Creepers weapons. It was like a knife, carved out knife, you know how he do with his little fucking crazy shit, the fucking human skin carved all type of bullshit, bones and whatnot. But um yeah, they end up going on a hunt for his ass, uh, coming across, uh, fucking these kids on the bus. Well, they didn't come across them. They end up listening out on the radio and, you know, trying to figure out where the fuck he go. Cause he just, he just flew off into midair with their, with their fucking, with his kid, you know, with Billy. So they're using the radio, trying to figure out, like, where, you know, track them down and whatnot, and, um, they ended up getting this little call out from this bus full of, you know, a basketball team full of kids, from, you know, it's on a basketball team, some cheerleaders, you know, asking for help, because they fucking broke down in the middle of nowhere from the doing of Jeepers Creepers. And, you know, he's picking them off one by one, you know, uh, fucking trying to make his last little day a good little feasting, you know, and he's, he's choosing them all, you know, based off of fear. He, he, he looks, he looks you in your eyes and see how much fear you got in that heart of yours. And that's how he gets to, you know, make his, make his decision on who he's going to feast on first. Cause he's going to feast on whoever he pleases regardless, but he made it a primary to feast on the ones that, you know, bring about more fear in them and shit, so, um, you know, given that, I would say these little, um, these little, these little minor feastings that he had almost fucked him up, you know, he, he, um, he got, he got, like, 
he got sidetracked from the main feast trying to, you know, being greedy and ends up getting, you know, he ends up getting getting his bell rung a little bit in this one. I feel like out of all of them, he got fucked up the most in this one. Um Cause well, you know, I I didn't see four I stopped watching after three. Cause that three got stupid. Even even three was a little trash to me. One and two are the best, but I think they made like five or six of them. I don't even know. But they're they 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 they, they you know they dragged it out a little too long um for my liking. But this one, yeah, he lost uh fucking head. He lost fucking arm, leg, fucking uh, wing, this man, you know, this creature, he got put, like I said, he got put through the ringer, and when Jack and, uh, Jack Jr. caught up to him, they, they put, you know, they put the paws on this man, they put the paws on this creature, they put, they, they literally, that harpoon was digging in his ass. He fucking had to evacuate. He had to flee from them to go to re terror on the kids. Because the kids ended up, you know, obviously uh, all scattering away from the bus, trying to make a run for it and figure out some way, you know, to get the fuck out of Dodge. Because they then just sat there and... Watch the coaches and the bus driver get uh feasted on. Some of the te- some of the uh kids got feasted on, you know, and it's like to the point now where it's like survival mode. You know, whoever makes it out alive makes it out alive. We if we got to split up, we got to split up. You know, the one kid Scott was saying that you know it's the eating and to not be eaten. You know, like we need to. Start making a plan. We can't just sit here any longer. We're going to get fucking picked off one by one. We're better off out there, you know. So, um, given that, too, on top of that, they had you had this cheerleader named Mitzi that was getting visions from Barry, you know, uh, the, the character from the previous one, fucking played by Justin Long. Um... Giving her signs and whatnot to, you know, pretty much like a whole a whole spill, a whole rundown on Jeepers Creepers and what he, you know, what he's capable of and and just, you know, pretty much telling her like she's fucked. <laughs> pretty much she's fucked. Like they don't find a way to get out of there, they're they're fucked. So this is his last day. So he's going to do whatever it takes. My bad. This is Jeeves Creeper's last day. But he's going to do whatever it takes, you know, to get his final feastings before he goes into the hibernation mode. So, yeah. But, you know, long story short, Jack ends up, you know, putting him down um, with the fucking harpoon. And coming through and stabbing him uh, through the heart. And, you know, it seems that he's dead. But, like I said, uh, Mitzi was telling his ass, like, it's, it's no point. He's going to he's gonna be back in 23 years. And then 23 years after that. And then 23 years after that. So, it's like, yeah, you, you, you feel accomplished now, but... He gonna come back with even on even more bullshit <laughs> in twenty something years, so be ready. And that's what they pretty much showed at the end. Um, you know, they go back to the farm and they they fucking showcasing this fucking creature, Jeepers Creepers, like a trophy, like at an art museum type of deal, like a um, five butts and shit. <laughs> to see it and these kids pull up these random these two boys and uh this one girl you know pull up in this little Tonka truck like is it real can we see it uh, all that shit and you know pay the five butts and then um and they they give they show them giving it to uh jack jr 
And then when they go into the actual barn, they see Jack Sr. sitting in a fucking chair with, with the dog. With his dog and shit. And the fucking harpoon, you know, cranked up, pointed directly at uh, Jeepers Creepers as he's hanging on, like, hanging on this wall and whatnot. And he's just waiting. It's about, it's about to be... Uh, about to be upon that 23 year mark. So it's like a few days left. And he's just waiting. He wait. He waiting on him to arise so he can put his ass back. Put his ass back down in the dirt again. And, you know. Stop him from wreaking his terror. And having his fucking 20 day or 23 day uh, feast frenzy, man. So... Like I said, this one I enjoyed way more. A little, just not way more, but a little bit more than the first one. Given the scenery and how they presented it with the dialogue. But um, let me know what you guys thought about this one. Leave some comments. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. And I will be back later on for uh, Loki. And uh, I'm about to post jujitsu here in a few. So, that being said, toodles.